What up everyone? Welcome back. It has been quite some time since I've done one of these YouTube videos. Uh, just to kind of quick catch everyone up, um, for the whole month of April I was gone in Europe backpacking with my wife. Uh, we hit eight different countries. Um, it was an amazing time, ate a lot of food, drank a lot of beer, saw a ton, walked a ton, and overall just it was an amazing life experience. So been back now for about a month, just kind of been getting back to into the normal swing of things. Um, you know, all that kind of stuff, getting back on uh, the dieting phase that I was in beforehand. Funny enough, um, I actually came down back from Europe five pounds. Uh, and I've actually been able to keep that off and continue to drop weight, which was, which was pretty awesome considering the amount of food that we ate and the amount of alcohol that we drank. Um, so score another win for flexible dieting and creating an energy deficit, I guess. Um, what else? Uh, getting back into the gym, just about here to finish up my first six week block since being back. That's going well. Uh, strength has really rebounded quite nicely. Uh, pretty excited to just test my AMRAPs this week and kind of just see where we're at after these um, this six week blocks. So yeah, things are going well. We're still going going strong. Um, just kind of current goals right now coming back. I had a lot of time to think and uh, kind of about my goals on the trip and kind of what I wanted to do. And I definitely want to keep going with the powerlifting. Um, but over the trip, I decided that I wanted to step on stage again. Um, it's been three years, I believe, since I last stepped on stage. Um, it wasn't the greatest experience for me. Uh, I came out of it uh, severely depressed. Um, no, probably something that had been there for quite some time, but afterwards the, the prep really seemed to bring it out. Uh, so I was diagnosed and put on medication and I kind of didn't really want to go back into that prep again. Uh, just until the last, I don't know, I would say February of this year kind of started percolating in my mind again. And maybe that was something that I wanted to try again. I wanted to test myself mentally um, to just prove to myself that I could do this again. Uh, so after talking about it with my wife, because um, she obviously had concerns about it as, as well as I had, um, we agreed that, yeah, this was something that I really want to go for, challenge myself again, and go through. So I came back, talked with my coach, Paul Ravella, about it. He was all in for it. So um, still working to get down to 200 pounds. It's roughly 20 pounds over stage weight. And then we'll kind of go into an improvement season. And my goal is to compete next year in Tampa, Florida uh, at Paul Ravella's show. Um, so we're still a year and a half away. So really excited. Uh, this time, instead of physique, I'm going to actually be doing bodybuilding. So that's another uh, quite a big step for me. So really excited about that. Still plan on competing in a little bit of powerlifting next year, uh, next May. Um, feeling pretty beat up coming out of my last meet, so just gonna build some volume right now. Uh, try and drop about another eight more pounds so we get to 200, and then uh, start building some muscle again for um, the show. So that's kind of everything that's going on right now. Uh, just a lot of exciting things going on coming up. Uh, just really excited. So yeah. So the other reason that I wanted to do this video, um, I've had other stuff on my mind um, lately, and that's just something I deal with a lot as a coach, um, and that's diet. Everyone wants to know what's the best diet. Well, is keto the best diet? Is very low fat the best diet? Is intermittent fasting the best diet? Is There's tons out there, and there's... A lot of information for for people out there, and it's it's can get you very confusing because each diet says that they're the best diet. That you know, this diet's bad for you, that diet's bad for you because of this, this, and that. So there is a lot of information out there that can be quite confusing. But we're actually quite lucky right now. Just recently, the International Society of Sports Nutrition just came out with their position stand. It is a fantastic article article covering basically kind of your main diets 
Okay. So what they did is they covered um, very low, low energy diets, low fat diets, low carbohydrate diets, ketogenic diets, um, high protein diets, and some intermittent fasting. So these have kind of been all diets that have been quite popular over the last few years and have received a bit of attention, um, not only in the general population, but studies as well. Um, I will not you know, dive into them too deeply if you really want to go kind of get into a lot of the studies and some of the research that they had. Uh, I highly encourage you to Google it. Um, it's a free article on PubMed. Uh, breaks it down so well, each and every diet, um, and what the research says about it. So what the great thing is, is what they found through, I'd say the biggest find for me personally and what I would tell people is what type of diet you're on does not matter. Okay? It doesn't matter if you're ketogenic. It doesn't matter if you're intermittent fasting, uh, which are quite two of the more popular ones, and low carbohydrate, which can be quite popular as well. Um, all of these lose fat by creating energy deficit. That's it. As well as making sure that your protein is high enough, right? Because we want to build muscle. Protein has a nice high thermic effect. And um, as well as resistance training, right? Building muscle, getting in the gym, and increasing a basal metabolic rate. So those are kind of the, the three biggest keys or the three biggest takeaways from this article is create an energy deficit, get your protein in, and go to the gym. If you can do those three things, you will lose weight. Okay? That's all that it really takes. I mean, yes, weight loss and all that, it can be a bit more complicated, but those are the three most important things to do. So after saying that, Whatever you enjoy, whether it be ketogenic diets, uh, whether it be intermittent fasting, whether it be flexible dieting, um, quote unquote, clean eating, um, if that's what you enjoy doing and then if that's what's going to help you keep the most consistent um, pattern for yourself, like if you can do that consistently day in and day out, then do that. That's all that matters. It's There's no such thing as, well, my diet's better than your diet. It's whatever works for the individual. That's what it should be about. That should be about creating an energy deficit, something they enjoy, something they can do consistently, getting their protein in and going to the gym. That is going to set up the person for not just quick results, but long-term success, which is the name of the game when it comes to this. Right? We're not worried about the quick fix. This is a long game. This isn't a sprint. This is a marathon. It takes day in, day out consistency of hitting your numbers, going to the gym, getting enough sleep, all those other things. So I think that if we can really get that message out there and kind of really get people to look at just how much they're eating and not what they're eating and how they view foods as good and bad, I think you're really going to see a big shift from a fat loss um, or a dieting epidemic to actual sustained weight loss and none of the silliness of putting foods into morals essentially. So anyways, that's just kind of what's been on my mind lately, even before this article came out and then this article came out and kind of just really was, I, it was amazing. Um, so go read it. It's a, it's an awesome article. It's not too heavy, not too dense. Um, should be able to understand it quite well. Um, so yeah, if you ever have any questions, comments, concerns, shoot me an email. Thanks for watching. Uh, till next time, hopefully do another one of these here pretty soon. Um, so lesson is get your protein, create an energy deficit, get your ass to the gym. All right. Have a good one, guys. Thanks.